I just saw this wonderful video on YouTube that does not have any description or voice recording so I took the liberty of adding more value to the efforts of the gentleman who uploaded this video by explaining the procedure and describing the blood vessels that are visible. Blood vessels are blood vessels have the same radiographic density as the tissue around them. It is therefore impossible to see a blood vessel on a plain x-ray. You might just see uh, indistinct shadows of large blood vessels on chest x-ray or on abdominal x-rays. Medium to small size branches cannot be visualized at all unless they are abnormally calcified. To visualize blood vessels in order to diagnose a number of conditions or for treatment, you'll have to use an intravascular contrast medium which enhances the visibility of vessels on x-rays as in this case. To improve the diagnostic quality of such procedures, images nowadays are digitally subtracted. What it means uh, that a plain x-ray is taken of the area of interest before injection of contrast medium and the same area is x-rayed after injection of contrast medium into the blood vessel. Plain image is digitally subtracted from contrast enhanced image and what remains highly visible is the area that has contrast uh, in it uh, which means blood vessels. Bones and soft tissues do not remain visible at all as a result of subtraction which enhances the visibility of blood vessels. The procedure is known as angiography or arteriography and uh, if you are uh, aiming to visualize the, ve uh, the veins it is known as venography. Images from one such procedure are in front of you. This is digital subtraction angiography of the abdominal aorta. Part of the aorta that lies below the diaphragm, below 12th thoracic vertebra is known as abdominal aorta. You can clearly see a tube with a bent tip. This is a catheter, a tube, which is known as pigtail catheter. This pigtail catheter has multiple holes and is inserted from the femoral artery which uh, is easy to access from just above the hip joint. So you can see the tube is coming into the femoral artery and then the tip is uh, just at the level of probably just below the level of 12th thoracic vertebra. The contrast medium is injected. A decent amount of contrast medium is injected. Uh, with the help of an automated injector with a decent flow rate and the contrast flows with blood uh, in the same direction as blood is flowing and as a result the blood vessels become opacified become visible clearly now the ideally the tip should be above or at the level of 12th thoracic vertebra so we can see the whole of the abdominal aorta. In this case, it is probably just below uh, from the ideal position. So the first major branch, which is known as celiac artery or celiac trunk, is just visible. If the catheter was just above uh, from this point, you would be able to clearly see the three branches of celiac artery. It, uh, the celiac artery is an anterior branch. It um, uh, divides into three branches. Uh, arises anteriorly of the aorta. The first branch is known as common hepatic artery. Uh, the second branch is known as left gastric, which supplies to the stomach. Common hepatic artery supplies to the liver. And the third branch is splenic artery, which supplies to the spleen, of course. The second major artery, which is also an anterior branch, arises anteriorly to the aorta, is superior mesenteric artery. So, so this is superior 
mesenteric artery which supplies oxygenated blood to the small intestines ascending and transverse colon as well as pancreas so you can see multiple branches coming out of it and also you can see two renal arteries coming out of the abdominal aorta that supply oxygenated blood to the kidneys the aorta is dividing into two ileic branches at the level of fourth lumbar vertebra so it is just one big vessel which is giving off small branches it divides into two at the level of fourth lumbar vertebra so this is ileic uh, into two ileic arteries and this is an internal ileic artery external ileic artery further down it is known as femoral artery as soon as it passes over the hip joint um, what else probably that's all I want to explain today thank you very much